Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah Shaver and I'm a reporter with the Jackson County Times Journal. I'm out here at the Jackson Gallia Vinton Meg Solid Waste District where the Wilson Fire Department is doing training in a mobile search and rescue training lab. Now I'm going to speak briefly with uh, Ryan Pelletier. He's the first assistant chief for the Wilson Fire Department. All right, so I'm here with uh, first assistant chief Ryan Pelletier. So Ryan, it's Saturday afternoon. Um, why are you and your fellow firefighters out here today? Once a year we do a mandatory training where we have all the members of the Wilson Fire Department. We get together and do a, a an eight-hour scenario-based training. Um, this year it's the mobile search and rescue lab from the Ohio Fire Academy out mm -hmm. of Columbus. Um, we work well with the Ohio Fire Academy. They have a lot of different trainings that we will go to Columbus to participate in. Their new uh, incentive is mobile training. They're trying to get their training out to the fire departments in distant departments like we're 80 miles from Columbus so it's easier for them to bring the, the academy to us. Mm -hmm. uh, this is their new mobile burn lab. We're one of the first fire departments in the state to participate in this burn lab. Um, I've not personally got to go through it yet. I've seen it. Um, there's a lot of great talk about it. What we're going to do today is be able to teach our firefighters how to do search and rescue in a controlled environment. Mm -hmm. Um, later on we'll add stress to it to make it more like a, a real life fire and it's a chance for them to learn what their limitations are mm -hmm. um, and different scenarios that they may run across in a, in a in a fire. Okay so inside this mobile lab is it, can you explain about the mobile sure. lab on the inside? Inside the mobile lab we've the way that the Ohio Fire Academy has got it set up is two different scenarios one a first floor and there is two floors inside this trailer the first floor is set up normal ranch style home uh, more homes in, that are being built today are a ranch style home. Mm -hmm. Single story, uh, living room, kitchen, bed, couple bedrooms, couple bathrooms. That's the way this first floor is set up. Um, how we'll go in is do our search pattern. We'll go in in a right hand search or a left hand search. That's how we're trained. And at that point, we'll be two in and two out. Uh, we'll search for a victim. In the fire service, we do two searches, primary and secondary. Mm -hmm. Primary is as soon as we get there. We always do a primary and secondary, even if no one's home, because you never know. Um, there's two different types of search as far as in the environment. If it's during the daytime, most of your residents in the daytime will be in your living rooms, kitchens, bathrooms, areas like that. If it's 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, we're looking more for, for a bedroom. Mm -hmm. Some of the things we look for is there cars outside, is there toys in the front yard telling us there's children, and that's going to determine where and how we start our search. In this lab on the second floor, it's the second search um, that we have set up to simulate a second story. On the second story, in this search lab, it's set up with weakened floors, wires hanging down, rafters hanging down, um, places where there is no floor, just the rafters, the floor rafters. And that's to train our guys what to do in a situation where there is some heavy fire damage. Mm -hmm. What we determine for our own safety a lot of times we don't do a search if the house is fully involved. It, it depends on the condition. But we always do a secondary search, no matter what. Um, and in that secondary search is when you'll see a lot of the burnt holes and to teach our firefighters how to get through that type of environment. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the mobile unit? No, we're just very, very glad to have it. Um, the mobile search lab is $2,400. We paid 1000 um, and that is reimbursable. We receive that money on a grant, a training grant through the Ohio Fire Academy. Okay. Once we pay the $1,000, we get reimbursed that $1,000. The reason why we don't pay the full 24000 is our Lieutenant Aaron Dupree, he works for the Ohio Fire Academy. Okay. He was able to donate his time and that saved us $1,400. So we only had to pay for the lab itself. Okay. So we're pleased to have it. All right. Glad to have you here to yep. witness it. Yep. Thanks for your time. Thanks.